Part of the former Old Crow Restoration Department, I wanted to try to rescue a piece of steam equipment, and it's the steam whistle. Let's go see if we can find it and get some WD-40 on it. For some reason, I remember sort of going up these stairs or look. Now, the clue to finding the whistles is right here in this picture. You have to look and notice that there's little valves sticking out right there. But you're going to turn around from those steam valves and you're going to see some old wood painting and then eventually across these steam whistles. So I did sort of had to climb over some of this railing here. You gotta be careful you fall down to the ductwork going to the stack from number four, but here they are. These whistles I've been after, they've got some valves associated with them. And I think we're gonna WD-40 that in hopes of someday being able to take those off. I, in my spraying down of these two valves here, I came across what looked like a pipe leading somewhere and lo and behold here it is a third whistle sort of hidden here a little one as i've been researching the old distillery i did hear a story about a mule that lived in the neighborhood down the creek a little bit and at four o'clock they would let these whistles go and that mule had trained itself to know that it was feeding time so no matter what it was doing that mule would turn around and head for home for feeding based on the blowing of these whistles here at the former Old Crow Distillery. Well, at Glens Creek Distilling, uh, one of the things that we really try to do is preserve some of the history of this uh, legendary distillery, Old Crow Distillery. And uh, we're grateful uh, to Rod Hat for discovering the old uh, whistles that were used here at the distillery to announce the start of the shift and breaks and lunch and the end of shifts and so on. And uh, these Whistles, fortunately, were not found by the previous owners who were in the salvage business because they would have discovered that these are made out of brass, which would have bring uh, a few dollars at the scrap yard. But uh, we were able to get those and then uh, work to find a way to, to blow the whistles since we don't have uh, steam. It's been, it's been a, a work in progress for a while. You know, we, we are doing a lot of different things and and uh, so we had to figure out how to make it come together uh, but I think J Justin did a great job putting together the the uh, compressor rebuilding that and getting it all set up so uh, boilers here any longer so we found an old air compressor and uh, Justin put it back together and we are once again able to blow the whistles that uh, signified the, the uh, change of shifts and so forth here. So we're very, very happy to have these and to be able to preserve some of the history of the distillery here. This, I'm Justin Strothman and I've been working at the distillery for about six months. I'm normally, yeah, normally I'm doing the screw press, kind of doing that in the morning um, while they do the tours and whatnot. What'd you say, screw? The screw press, 
that the screw press is uh, what gets the water or what gets the, the liquid out of the grains. All right, officially blowing the whistle of Old Crow. Go. <laughs> Takes a bit of air. First time we lit this off, um, of course I'm down here, and this big guy had probably about five mud dauber nests in it. And yeah, it went all in my face. Saw the nest in there, and I was like, oh, it's not gonna do much. I didn't think it was actually gonna make a sound until we did it. I, Tom was right next to me, and we just looked at each other. It was just like, it actually works. So we're at 75 PSI, roughly and uh, we're just going to hit the lever and get a little short blast. Three, two, one. That was so cool. <laughs>